Hey guys, welcome back to Possum TV. So I haven't done a DIY in a really long time and I thought it would be fun to do one today. So some of you guys have seen my Halloween videos and commented asking for some DIYs on my Halloween stuff. So I do plan on showing you guys how to make some of the costumes, but I also wanted to show you how to make some of the other accessories. And today I'm going to show you how to make the ghost. So for those of you who have seen my Halloween video, you know that I made some haunted houses. And here is an example of one of the ghosts that I made. So I hung this ghost on the front side of the house and you can also move it. And for the other haunted house, I put a ghost at the window. And this ghost is actually really, really easy to make, so stay tuned. And I also put one of the ghosts on the back of the house. So this is the one that dangles and it can move. Alright guys, let's get started. So you'll need a white piece of fabric, and here I just took some fabric and I cut it out. So don't worry about it being uneven because it really doesn't matter. And I was aiming for almost like a square shape, but mine isn't even and yours doesn't have to be either. It actually looks better when it's not even. You'll also need some cotton balls, so make sure you have a couple. A sharpie or a black marker. Some white string. A pair of scissors, some elastic bands, or you can also use a rubber band if you don't have these. And you'll need something to poke a hole with. So here I'm going to use this, and I know that this is kind of sharp, so if you don't have this, you can also try using a pencil or a pen. It should be able to make a hole through the fabric as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our fabric, and we're going to poke a hole through the middle. So I'm just going to eyeball where the middle is and I think it's going to be somewhere around here. So I'm going to hold it here and I'm going to take my little tool and I'm going to poke a hole through it. So be careful if you're using something sharp, otherwise you can try using a pen or a pencil to make the hole. So here you can see I made a hole and we don't want the hole to be too big because we want to make sure that the string will stay in there. So here's the little hole that I made. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out a piece of string. So go ahead and take your string and cut out a piece. Now it doesn't have to be too short or too long. I cut out a longer piece because I can always cut it later. But if you cut a piece that's a little too short, you might have some trouble later. So I'd rather you cut out a longer piece than a shorter piece. Now take the string and go ahead and string it through the hole. So this is how it should look like once you have it through the hole. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot in the inside. So as you can see, this is going to be the outside. So underneath, right here, go ahead and make a knot on this end of the string. And you want to make another knot just to make sure that it's big enough. So there we have two knots, and what you want to make sure is that this knot is not going to go through the hole. So I'm going to hold onto this knot for a second, and I'm going to pull on the other side, and I'm going to kind of check to see to make sure it won't go through the hole. Oh, so we're good. So the knot that I made is big enough and it won't go through the hole. And this is what you should have. So it kind of dangles. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the cotton ball and we're going to place it right near the knot. And then we're going to cover it. So go ahead and cover it and kind of just wrap it around. It doesn't have to be too neat. So make sure I get the string out of the way. So go ahead and take the elastic band or you can use a rubber band and wrap it around the head. So the reason I'm using an elastic band is because it's transparent and it won't be as obvious. So just go ahead and wrap it around. And make sure you pull the string out because it might get caught. And you can also readjust the head as you like. So I'm just going to play with it a little bit to make it so it's not that sloppy. 
So once you're okay with how it looks, go ahead and take the black marker and we're going to start drawing on it. So I'm going to take the ghost and I'm going to place it on the table and I'm going to hold it by its head so I can draw on it. And you can draw any design you want, you can be creative, but I'm just going to do the simple ghost face which is two eyes and a mouth. So here I'm just going to draw the eyeball. And then I'm going to draw a little mouth. And I'm done! So this is how the ghost looks like. And it can dangle by the string. And when you have a haunted house or something you want to hang it on, go ahead and hang it on there. So here is one that I made for my haunted house. And actually this one does not have a string. I just kind of popped it on here because it fits in the window and it stays. But for my other haunted house, I went ahead and I hung it up. So I just used some tape and I taped it on the side of the house. And these are great little accessories for your haunted house or for your Halloween videos. I know that Halloween has passed, but I think it's still really fun to make these. You can also make it for next year too. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this super fun and easy DIY. Leave me a comment below and let me know what other types of Halloween DIYs you would like me to do. Stay possum guys, love you!